we are at the library. This is a scenario with an active shooter at the schoolhouse. Officer Burroughs stopped the threat. Here's a traffic stop. Check this out. We'd be contact party. You'd be covered. Yes, sir. That's a pretty place, man. Oh, somebody's in the trunk. Notice he picks the box cutter up when he runs. The right hand. He's coming back, Tim. Tim's like, hey, I'm going to be ready this time. There you, oh. Put it down. There you go, sir. There you go. There you go. Put it down. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, we need to see Peter, man. Yeah, we need to see Peter. Yes, thank you. Hey, Peter, we need to talk with you a minute. Yeah. Don't run. Oh, Peter, run it. Peter, come back. Come, come on, on up, Peter. Peter, come on up, Peter. Peter, come on up, Peter. Come on up, Peter. Come on, Peter. There you go. There you go. Put it down, Peter. There you go. Thank you. Come on up. Put it come down. On. There down. you go. Down. Good deal. Thank you, sir, Peter. So see, the outcome was different that time. The guy had uh, surrendered. No problem. <clears throat> Obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's as real life as you can get. It's computer generated, but it gives our officers the opportunity to go through those scenarios on shoot and don't shoot. So it's, it's valuable training, split second decisions, and you know we try to stay on top of our training so that we're prepared. Yes. We, do, we do live fire exercises mm -hmm. you know, at the range as well as the simulator. The simulator gives you the, the feel of the real life scenario with an individual that's moving so you have to track them to shoot.